Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be reviewing the HP 22FW monitor. So you're looking at it right now and this is a 21.5 FHD IPS gaming monitor. Uh, this is 75 Hz refresh rate uh, and uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 so uh, this is full HD. And uh, in terms of uh, contrast ratio, this is uh, 1000 to 1, and it has full 178 uh, degree uh, vertical and horizontal uh, ultra wide viewing. And uh, this is also uh, energy star qualified monitor. So this was purchased with my own money. This is not a paid or affiliated review. Uh, all my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased, and honest. So the weight of this product is uh, 5.14 uh, pound, and uh, the panel is IPS, and there should be a 6.2 feet cable uh, or power cable included. So let's open this up, and then uh, we'll take a look at the monitor, and also look at the quality of the monitor how you know uh, good or bad quality uh, the picture is once I set it up to my uh, workstation so let's uh, start opening up the monitor okay so I'll remove uh, these flaps which are right here and uh, let's take this out Okay, so I have a feeling that the whole uh, monitor should just, just slide out of the box. And yes, so that's what's uh, happening here. Okay, so the box is empty and it looks like actually I flipped it. So it should be the reverse way. But I can just, you know, flip it back. So it looks like here we have the power cable and then here's the power mm, adapter and then they also attached uh, an HDMI, HDMI cable and uh, we have uh, some other accessories right here. So let this push over a little bit and I'll open this up. Okay, so this looks like actually is going to be the stand of the monitor. So the monitor is going to be uh, stay on it. So I'll just uh, set it aside. And then we have something else here. So let's uh, open this up. And this actually looks like the other part of the stand which to hold the monitor. So I'll just put it here. And then we have uh, a small uh, manual or brochure. So I'll take this out and you can see that you know we have the HP worldwide uh, warranty card and then we have a manual okay so I'll just set this aside here and now we'll just you know uh, take out the monitor Okay, so there's a quick uh, setup uh, guide uh, or uh, instructions right here and I'll just remove this for now and we have uh, our monitor right here so I'll just take it out. Okay, so you're looking at the monitor uh, without the stand and everything and uh, this is very uh, lightweight and it looks really slim. So for example, if you take a look at it, you can see that, you know, this is really, really slim and it, it's very uh, good looking. So what I'll do, uh, let me uh, install on top of the stand and then I'll uh, show you the complete uh, video of the monitor. Just a quick note about uh, setting it up. So it's a very simple and easy to set up. All you have to do, you have to just uh, slide this section in here. So for example, if you do that, and then you have to just tighten the screw right here. Uh, you don't actually need a screwdriver or anything. You can do everything you know by hand. And then once you have this, 
then you have to just you know uh, slide the monitor in the uh, stand or holder so it's a very really easy and simple setup Okay, so the setup is finished. Uh, that's really uh, simple to set up. And one good thing about the stand is that uh, it's not cheap plastic. It's made of metal, most likely aluminium. And uh, I don't think you can tilt it, uh, tilt uh, this on the side or top or, you know, up or down. So it doesn't look like that way. But, you know, if I find out and see that, you know, it's tiltable, then I'll let you know. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don, and this is the final session of the HP uh, 22FW monitor review. So I have two monitors side by side. This is my uh, laptop monitor, uh, which is a glossy monitor, and the HP monitor is actually a matte uh, monitor because uh, it reduces glare and light reflection. So if you're looking at the color production of uh, on the laptop monitor, uh, then definitely you're going to like it more because it has vivid and... Uh, super color uh, you can you can tell by just looking at it that you know the color production and uh, the color uh, contrast and everything is much better than the HP monitor because this is a much better screen uh, due to the fact that this is more expensive uh, laptop and this is a matte uh, sorry glossy laptop so the main difference between laptop uh, glossy and uh, matte is that you know matte doesn't have the color uh, the coating to, to reduce the glare or light reflection so it gives you vivid and uh, super color but if you're looking at on uh, matte monitor which is the SP then the, it's going to reduce the color uh, vivid color color a little bit but it will reduce the reflection or glare as well so the matte monitor is supposed to be better on eyes that's what what's told but you know I'm not actually sure which one is what so let me show you a video clip and you can also like you know compare the color on the video uh, so right now you're still looking at the laptop monitor you see that it's kind of difficult to see because of the light uh, reflection so now we are slowly moving to the HP monitor and you see the difference because it's gonna give you less uh, reflection and less glare okay, so right here here this is the HP monitor and you can see that it has much lesser reflection than this but but at the same time that makes the you know vivid and vibrant color lesser too okay so I'm gonna just uh, put down the laptop here in terms of performance I like the monitor because of the price uh, this is really uh, you know uh, a good price priced monitor and what you're paying and what you're getting uh, you cannot go wrong and from time to time it goes on sale so if you can pick it up on sale that's even better but uh, some of the things I do not like about this monitor uh, which I'm going to show you right now so the first thing uh, the monitor you'll not be able to lift it up uh, or pull it up so the height you're looking at this is the this is fixed so for example if you just you know lift it up it doesn't work because it doesn't have that functionality and you can you cannot lift tilt it like this way so if you try to tilt it this way it doesn't work the only way you can tilt it uh, push back the monitor backward and forward this way for example it goes a little bit this way and it comes forward a little bit this way so that's all you can do in terms of maneuvering the height and adjustments so in terms of you know height adjustments and maneuvering you have a very limited option you don't have actually much option uh, so you're gonna have to just like you know keep it this way and I don't have any problem with that because somehow it perfectly uh, fits my uh, desk uh, and my uh, height requirement which I was looking at but for some it may not be an option so if you're looking for something that you need to you know uh, adjust the height or uh, tilt it uh, this way then this is not for you and then the other problem i have with this monitor which i'm going to 
pull down the camera a little bit okay so if you are looking at the lower right section right here you're not gonna see any buttons because somehow they're hiding the buttons underneath this panel and which is a very bad thing because you cannot really tell which button is for what so you kind of, you're gonna have to just kind of guess when you're, when you're pressing that button so right now I can tell that turn on or turn up button is going to be right here because of the light but if I didn't have this then I had to just guess and just press the button here to turn it off or to turn it on so basically uh, and then there's uh, I can feel it one two three four so there are four other buttons right here but there's no way for you to tell which button is what so you can have to just kind of like you know guess and you can see that you know these options are coming up here but I don't like it that way uh, because you know I have to just like you know keep guessing uh, what I'm pressing or which button to press for what so that's something uh, I don't like about this monitor uh, but except that everything else is very cool uh, the back of the monitor which I showed you before when I was doing the unboxing is really cool it's white but you know it's just hidden uh, behind I don't uh, get to see that so that doesn't matter but uh, in terms of like you know looks and everything this is really a very nice looking monitor mm, it doesn't look cheap uh, it wouldn't look the way uh, it, it doesn't look how much you paid it looks like a very expensive monitor but it isn't and uh, you know it works uh, it does the job some of the shortcoming uh, features which I just mentioned to you before uh, that's what you have to keep this in mind when uh, you were uh, purchasing this monitor so this is the non-affiliated review of the HP 22FW monitor. Uh, forget about subscribing to this channel. Forget about liking this video. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.